was good, y'all. Rich Sosa back in a building with another banger. Now, first things first, before we go ahead and get started, I gotta say thank God for another day and another opportunity. Now, as y'all can see from the looks of the title and the screen, today I'm gonna be bringing y'all a very special point guard build today. And this will be called the Scrappy Point Build in NBA 2K23 on next gen. Now, this is gonna be one of the most special and rarer builds when it comes down to 2K on next gen. And especially when it comes down with the abilities of what we're able to do today. As you can see from the looks of the screen, we're pretty much going to be able to do everything on the offensive end, but even more so on the defense. Now, this build really reminds me of LeBron James from his first runaround with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, today we will be making this build out of the point guard position. And yes, I know LeBron was put under a small forward back then. But tell me, if you were watching basketball, you know he was bringing the ball up pretty much every single time. And this is exactly why I had to go ahead and use him for today's build. So with this archetype, we're going to be able to get off rip at 85 badges and plus one from each season completed. And also when it comes down to the animations and abilities, we're going to be able to get contact dunks as well as pro dribble moves. And then when it comes down to the attributes, these will be the stats that have the potential to reach a 100 plus. And that's going to be the driving layup, our dunk. Mid-range and three-pointer if you make a few minor adjustments and follow along. The steal, block, and possibly even the interior and defensive rebound. Now just a few things before we get any further into this build. I would appreciate it if it was your first time coming through. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family. And I would appreciate it if everybody smashed that like button and commented down TG for thank God and where are you tuning in from watching today. And I most definitely will be hitting y'all back with the response. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and get into the breakdown of this build. So as you can see, we do have the scrappy point lined up for us today. And yes, you can also see we will be able to get slashing takeover. Now the main thing about this build, and I think this is probably the most important thing with every single archetype that I bring to y'all. The body settings, you definitely have to be sure that you follow along. So when it comes down to the height, I'm gonna go ahead and put this build to 6'9". Now when it comes down to the weight, I actually did decide to go with max and then when it comes down to the wingspan, I'm going to go ahead and max this out to 7-7. Seven, seven. Now the body shape in which I think will be best is going to be built and if you followed every single step, we're going to be all set to go to get into the breakdown of the physicals. Now once we get into this area, take into consideration the plus 4 from the Gatorade facility workouts or gym rat. So the speed is going to be anywhere from 80 to 84. For the acceleration, 74 to 78. Strength, 75 to 79 and the same thing for the vertical. And then for the stamina, anywhere from 90 to 94. Now I think these numbers are pretty solid. Each of these has the potential to get pretty close to the 80s. And I think that's all we can ask for, especially when it comes down with the rest of what this build can do. So from here, let's go ahead and get started from the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and get into the defense. Now we're going to be able to get 28 total defensive badges. Now for the interior, I'm going to go with the 77, 79 perimeter, 85 steel, 97 block, 76 offensive rebound with an 81 defensive. Now with these 28 badges, I'm liking ankle braces, box out beast, glove, as well as post lockdown out of tier one. For tier two, I like challenger and clamps, but the more important badges in my own preference will be chased on artist and interceptor. And then for tier three, I'm happy that we're able to unlock anchor on gold with a rebound chaser. And this is pretty much what we're going to be looking like for this area of the build. Now, if you want to make your own adjustments, go ahead and do so. But these numbers are very specific in order to maintain the scrappy point name. Just to throw y'all out there, just a quick suggestion. From here, let's go ahead and move up the list and get into the breakdown of the playmaking. Now we get a total of 18 badges out of the playmaking. I'm going to go with the pass accuracy of a 78. 80 ball handle with a 71 speed with the ball. Now with these 18 badges, I like ankle breaker and hyper drive for tier 1. For tier 2, I'm looking at quick first step. And then for tier 3, I like killer combos, unpluckable as well as handles for days. 
Now this is really just based off of my own preference and how I made this build. So if you see something that you would make an adjustment towards, go ahead and do so. But like I said, you are risking changing the build name. I think that the batch count as well as the batch layouts themselves are pretty solid to start with. So let's go ahead and keep on moving and we're going to get started with the shooting. Now for the mid-range shot, I'm going to go with the 79. Same thing for the three-pointer with a 73 free throw. And we get a total of 19 badges. Now I like Amped, Midi Magician, Space Crater, and Volume Shooter. And then for tier 2, I like Agent 3 and Green Machine. And yes, we're going to be able to get Limitless Range on the core badge. And I think this makes all the difference with this build, especially with our takeovers. Now with the offense and the defense mixed together, I think this is one of the best rare point guard builds that we can possibly make, especially when it comes down to the name. Let's go ahead and get into the last area of this build, which is going to be the finishing. Now we get 16 badges, and for the close shot, I'm going to go with the 67. 80 driving layup, 87 driving dunk, with a 61 standing dunk. Now I like Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, and Slithery for tier 1. For tier 2... Gold Limitless Takeoff as well as Fearless Finisher. And then we're able to still get Bully as well as Silver Posterizer. And the 6 extra badges is going to make a huge difference in order to equip this badge. Now take all this into consideration in what I'm about to say. With the takeovers you pick, that's going to be a plus 10 towards 2 separate areas. And if you buy your own boost, that's going to be a plus 5. So right now, plus 15 in total just off your takeover and your boost. Now, the better you play, the gradually your stats will rise or lower. Take that into consideration with on top if you do decide to run with a teammate that does have on floor general on the hall of fame tier that's going to give you another plus four bringing your attribute boost into a 20 plus range now that's just the way that i look at these builds when i make them but we do get the slashing takeover shot creating lockdown as well as their rim protecting now look, if you want to go with any of the defensive takeovers, I would go with Paint Intimidation and the second one, Extreme Clamps. Now, if you're looking to have more fun on the offensive end, first, I would go ahead and pick finishing moves. The second one, ankle breaking shots, and if you want to mix and match, you can definitely do that as well. I'm going to leave the takeovers like this. Now let's go ahead and check out the build to make sure that we made it correctly. And you can even consider this to be a catfish because of how overpowered we are on the defensive as well as the offensive end. And as y'all can see, we have created the scrappy point build in the NBA 2K23 on next gen. Now look, if you made it this far into the video, let me know in the comments what do y'all think about this build? Would you make any changes and have you seen it yourself before? But when it comes down to the actual full potential, really take into consideration which takeovers you pick. Go ahead and add up your boost and do the numbers. And I promise you, this is one of the best rare builds that you can possibly make, especially when it comes down to a fire build name. Now let's go ahead and finish it off when it comes down to the badge layout. Now when it comes down to these badges, I like Back Down Punisher, Pro Touch, and Slithery for Tier 1. Tier 2 Limitless Takeoff with Fearless Finisher as well as Core Silver Posterizer. Now for the finishing, take into a fact that we do get contact dunks with this build. And I think we have one of the best setups when it comes down to the finishing layout. Now when it comes down to the shooting, I'm going to go with Amped, Mini Magician, Space Crater with Volume Shooter, Green Machine, Agent 3, and Limitless Range. And if you did decide to go ahead and pick one of the shooting takeovers, I'm telling y'all, this makes a huge difference with our shooting percentages as well as boost towards this area. Now for the playmaking, I'm going to go with Ankle Breaker, Hyper Drive, Quick First Step, and Vice Grip with Killer Combos and Handles for Days. And we're still going to be able to be swifty when it comes down to the dribble animations. Remember, we still are able to add extra badges towards any area of this build. So just something that you should really take into account before making this build. Now with the defense, this is where things are really going to shine. Ankle braces, a box out beast, glove, and post lockdown. From there, interceptor, clamps, challenger, and chase down artist. And then for tier 3, anchor, as well as rebound chaser. Now I gotta be real, this is one of the best defensive setups that I've seen for a rare build in a while. And I'm really happy with how this build turned out to be. Now if you made it this far into the video, I would just appreciate it if y'all went ahead and let me know what do you think about this build. And I hope you are all having a great day. And I just want to say thank y'all for the support. Thank you God for another day and another opportunity. 
And look, before we get out of here, if it was your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family. And I would appreciate it if everybody smashed that like button and commented down TG for thank God, as well as where you're tuning in from watching today. And I will be hitting y'all back with a response. But with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.